hit the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Good day everyone, welcome to Smartbird Kites tutorial video. In this video on signal and system, we are given a triangular pulse signal X of T and we are asked to sketch each of the following signals. So as we can see, this is the triangle that is given, the triangular signal. Now we have to sketch each of the following signals. Okay. Now, first of all, taking the first one, we have x of 3t plus x of 3t plus 2. Okay. We start from taking the first one where we have x of 3t and from this we know that this is amplitude scaling. This is our scaling factor. So what we have to do, this is our a, 3 is our a, so a is equals to 3 and since a is greater than 1, we compress the signal. We perform compression instead of expansion. We compress the signal. And we compress it by dividing minus 1 and 1 by 3. So each of the limit, which is minus 1 to 1, will now be divided by 3, thereby compressing our signal. Now, we take this to be our amplitude, which will remain constant, that is 1. And we assume here to be our minus 1 over 3. And we assume here to be 1 over 3. Great. Now we can draw our signal. So now we have our scaling signal, which has been compressed. Next, we have x of 3t plus 2. x of 3t plus 2. Now, when we have this kind of situation, we have scaling and shifting in the same equation. So first of all, we perform shifting first, shifting first, then followed by scaling. So performing our shifting first, we have x of t plus 2. That is the t and 2. Now from here, our t naught is supposed to minus 2. Since we have t naught to be equals to minus 2, which is this, that means what we have to do is take the limits of the triangle, which is from 1 to minus 1, and add it by t naught. So what we have is 1 plus our t naught is minus 2. And minus 1 plus t naught is still minus 2. Then our next signal will range from this particular limit. Thereby, we're shifting the signal. Now, for this, we have minus 1. And for this, we have minus 3. That means our signal will start from minus 3 to minus 1 with same amplitude. This is our amplitude of 1 and our signal will look something like this. As we can see, the signal has been shifted, shifted to two places. You can also do it by counting two places. And since it is minus, 
So going in the negative direction, here we have 1 to 0, 1 position, then 0 to minus 1, another 1. So this is another way of doing it instead of adding your t naught. Now since we are done with our shifting, we now go into scaling. We initially have 3 into 3t plus 2. So we have to scale it by 3. Now we perform the same thing. We take this particular signal which is our signal of x into t plus 2 and we scale it by 3. That is, we divide it because a is still greater than 1. So, we're compressing our signal. Now, like the other one, we divide minus 1 by 3, minus 3 by 3. Dividing minus 1 by 3, we have minus 1 over 3. And dividing minus 3 by 3, we have minus 3 by 3, we have minus 1. So our signal is going to start from minus 1 to minus 3, minus 1, by 3. So our signal is still going to maintain the amplitude of 1. It is going to look something like this. That is a compressed signal. Now we have our x into 3t plus 2 and also formally we have our x x into 3t. So now we have to add these two signals which is this and this. Now we are going to add these two signals which is this and this. This particular signal ranges from minus 1 over 3 to 1 over 3. So we indicate our negative 1 over 3 and positive 1 over 3. And the next one is from minus 1, which is this, to minus 1 over 3. So adding them and here from minus 1 to minus 1 over 3 we only have this signal while this one is 0 so we only have this with same amplitude which is 1 and from minus 1 over 3 to 1 over 3 we only have this signal while this one is zero. So, signal goes like this, all with an amplitude of one. So, this our signal here is the same thing as x of 3t plus x of 3t plus 2. Now in the next video, we are going to see the rest of the two questions which involves amplitude scaling, scaling and shifting as well, and scaling of a negative signal.